Well, how's it going, everyone? <clears throat> I got asked yesterday on a comment to do a video of my lights and do a <clears throat> um, uh, link to all the lights that I have. Um, I'm going to try to link as much as possible, as much as I can find. I should be able to find them all. We'll go from there. Um, last night, some newer things happened, actually. Um, T3's over here. Uh, we I got a new salt spreader for the back of my truck that goes with my receiver hitch. It's a salt dog. Um, that's what the two wires there are hanging for. Um, <clears throat> so... Some of the wiring underneath this side for the T3s, Phoenix T3s, uh, didn't look too great. So I'm getting new wiring for all that. So that's why there's um, wire hanging down because I haven't got all this all rewired yet. Uh, I'm going to do that sometime since it warms up. The light bar, I did raise the legs up to see what I'd what I'd like about it and I'd actually it didn't raise it up too much and I think I like it I did level it a little bit so it's it's sitting more level up there but this light bar we'll start up here with the light bar this is the Aries 41 inch uh, generation 4 3 watt with Eclipse technology uh, emergency light bar in all amber that's the built-in traffic advisor um, so we'll give you a little quick video of that there's that and this is in the linear linear optics that's how the takedowns and stuff the lally lights if i don't have them on back here in the camper shell i have my striker four uh the wiring back here is a mess too because i'm in the process of redoing all this i've got my uh, salt bag there i got my sandbags with a big old piece of iron um for weight this is an amber clear these are your clear modules here, clear diodes, and these are the embers. You can see that they're actually, it looks like these are the newer styled LEDs, like some of them are doing some of like the floodlights and stuff. So those are those. Have the Scepter 2s, one there, one over there. These are also Speed Tech lights, Scepter 2s. I think there's a, yeah, there's a Speed Tech like emblem there. We have the TRI-3s. These are also Speed Tech lights in amber. These are the newest. We have another amber white Striker 4 on this side. I don't know if you're caring too much. We have a 22 inch uh, D7D LED light bar on the front. This is, uh, I got this just off eBay. And of course we got the Bayer Snowplow headlights. Um, I'll link those in the description as well if you're interested in those. Those are actually pretty bright for halogens. We got these four inch, um, I gotta re-flush them up in there. When we redid the bumper, they kinda came off centered, but. Uh, four inch LED fogs, one on each side. And then we also have the Phoenixes over here, T3s, 3 watt. So, there's the Phoenix. Let me get a real close up deal for you there. That's how nice those look. Striker 4. The Striker 2. Here's the other Striker 4. Those are the Speed Tech lights, flush mount Z3s, one on each side. There's a 22 inch uh, spot flood LED light bar. There's the new Salt Dog control box. I did move the Toggle switch is over. You got your power. Ain't gonna work yet because it's uh, key's not on. 
your speed control of how fast it goes. You got a blast that you can push it and it'll just spin real fast. And you got a vibrator button that makes it shake. So there's all your wiring connections. We just kind of got them all sitting down in there for now. So pretty nice. Backup camera, speed check lights, control box for a light bar. All that good stuff. So, hope you enjoyed this video, sir. Hope this helped anyone else out. Like I say, uh, I will link the description of the items in the description. So, have a good one and see you later.